and there's a little bit of a mystery controversy going around. Um, apparently, there was poo poo found down in the field, <laughs> and and uh, Redbeard is 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 blaming him. He says it's his. Come on, really? Who does that? All right, everybody. Popcan Dan, we are back, back at this field. Oh man, 1857 One Penny uh, Dragon Slayer. That was my bucket list. I got it last time here. Bradford, uh, sorry, uh, the uh, Redbeard shows up and and he gets a Slayer out of here. I'm like, what the heck? So guess whose turn it is? Once again, <laughs> <laughs> I I never thought I'd ever see this, but. Beefer, it's your turn to get a Slayer. Because every time I go with this guy, he gets a Slayer and it was on my bucket list. I never got it. Now I'm actually saying it's your turn to get a Slayer. I never thought I'd ever see that. But here we are and we're ready to go. And there's a little bit of a mystery controversy going around. Um, apparently, there was poo poo found down in the field. <laughs> and and uh, Redbeard is, is, is blaming him. He says it's his. He, 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 he's, mom, he's being quiet, quiet. He's not saying nothing about it. So it could be uh, neither here nor there. Who knows? All I'm saying is I wonder where Redbeard got to be such an expert at uh, examining people's stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's, well, how did he become the expert on yeah. that? He, and, and you see a roll of toilet paper hanging from me? No, that's not happening. How does he know it's his? <laughs> Could have been his, and then he's trying to blame him. I don't know. Anyways, just let's not step in if we do find it, and let's get some stuff, man. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty much where the front door would be. Like, the house, I think, would be... Actually, no, it might be just a little more over there behind me. Uh, wow, tough going, man. Tough going so far. Haven't got much. It's been a while since I've been turning the camera on. But here's a nice big, uh, nice big spike. Uh, yeah, hey, it is what it is, man. That was a screamer. And you get your complimentary uh, square nails in the same hole every time, man. That's what happens when you're in the concentrated area. It's crazy. Okay, there's the beeper down the hill behind me. I don't know if... <laughs> I haven't even seen him since the intro. He just disappeared into the bushes. Maybe he was uh, going to the bathroom or something. <laughs> Anyways, hey, uh, man, I thought this. I thought this was a coin when I saw the corner of it, but it's not... It looks like it's part of that C-3PO I'm always, I am always looking for. I say R2. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's a nice old piece of brass, though. That's pretty neat. So right down the hole, it was, it was, it was crying, man. It was crying to me. It was, uh, it was like 22 solid. Now I don't know if you could see here. There's really nice uh, design on the on the base right here of the bowl, right where it meets the handle. Uh, but hey, either way, you know what? That's that's cool, man. I'm not, I'm not gonna argue that one. All right, man. Oh man, another nice sound, another beautiful tone. Uh, there it is. That's the bowl of another spoon. I am all over the the utensils now. Just need a knife and a fork, man. We're gonna have dinner. <coughs> all right, man. We're coming down to the last minute of play here in the third period. C'est la dernière minute de jeu dans la troisième période. The last minute of play in the third period. Folks, that's a hockey term, so we're, we're about to pull the goalie. We're desperate here, man, I'm telling you. But I think we're down to the last minute of play. I think I got myself a musket ball. It looks round. It looks white. You know how it, how it, how it gets that white patine on it? Uh, so let's dig in today. Uh, today. I'm just tired. Let's dig in here together and see if it is. All right, here we go. All right, so... It was down, it was a nice signal too, down in the hole. I don't remember what the number was exactly, but look at this. See that? It looks to me, I could be wrong, but here, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna break it up here, let's see. Yeah, folks, that's exactly what it is. It's round, but the backside here on the corner is smashed. There it is, musket ball, smashed. Must have hit something. That's cool. All right, hey everybody, Pop Can Dan. We're uh, closing shop here, man. That was a that was a tough outing. I eh? that was a 
It wasn't what we expected. Didn't get a coin this time. Uh, we were two for two, two outings, two coins. Uh, didn't get one this time, but man, I think I, I got a couple of spoon bowls. Uh, I got a, that smashed musket ball, uh, lots of iron, but that was pretty much it for me. What do you got? I think you got some neat stuff, right? Eh? Weird little hooky thing here. Lots of iron. Lots of Steven iron. Said. Yeah. A lot of triangular pieces. Uh, nice little uh, drawer pull, which oh, yeah. is the same as what Dan got the other yep. day. A matching set. And then a uh, odd brass and iron little. Yeah, that is odd. Little eh? piece. Not sure what that is. And then uh, something not metal that we just uh, happened to dig up. Ah, uh, yeah, there Ooh. it is. I saw that earlier. I, uh, oh, did you did you leave that? No, I I mean I I walked by it. I was gonna mess with it, but not nice. So I don't know what it is—a muskrat, uh, a <laughs> chihuahua rat. <laughs> I have no clue. Anyway, but hey, you know what? Uh, all in all, good day. Just being out's a good day. Uh, but we did get some stuff. Not not, you know, the zingers we wanted. But uh, we'll, we'll you know we'll be back, and it's the stuff's here. We know that. So, um, yeah, I think it's 16 or 18 acres of field, man. It's just, it's, it's a lot to cover. So uh, we'll keep pecking away at it. Pop Can Dan signing out. Take care. There he is, Bradford Beaver. All right, we're out of here, man. Have a good one. <laughs>